Hey, what's up you guys? Shardens Prime here doing another Transformers update video on the Transformers fan stream hosted by the Hasbro team over there of Ben and Evan and they had a special guest influencer, Sixo, who I thought did a great job on the stream and they showed off some new product over here before they got into the Transformers. They were showing off their new uh, Transformers chairs. They have an Autobot one, a Decepticon one, and they're showing off the Robosyn Optimus Prime over here, the new Elite Edition, which is a bit smaller, but a little bit more refined, and it was a trip just seeing them move on their own again. Uh, man, the Robosyn Prime, uh, so sick. But anyway, let's move on to the Transformers reveals. Not everything I gotta say I'm thrilled about, but there's a lot of stuff here that I really did like, and I wanted to talk about it. And if you're trying to get your Transformers, you can do so at Big Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. So, they started off showing off the core class Bumblebee over here. Uh, with the mask down, he's got the face shield and doesn't look too bad. You know, I like how it has a variety of colors over here. I wish the weapon storage could be a little bit more concealed for the alt mode, but still looks pretty good to me. We also got a core class, or is this a deluxe class? I think it's a core class brawn for the 86 Studio Series, and I think it looks dope. Uh, I like it. A lot of paint on there for the alt mode. And then when you see him in his uh, robot mode over here, next to the G1 especially, I think they nailed the colors. They talked about how tricky it was to get those colors down, and I think they did a fantastic job. And they also mentioned that we're going to see more Studio Series characters i think they're going to do all of them i don't know if they're really going to do every single one uh because like what we're going to get a re-released uh devastator like every single one really i don't know uh but i love this little secret g1 mode right over here with the legs i love that they did that and uh you can see that we also get um game reverse or the war for cybertron trilogy um Cliff Jumper, which I still have my deluxe version, so I, I've been passing on these. I, I've I've saved the Bumblebee and the Cliff Jumper because those are my favorite designs. But I've been I've sold off all my other War for Cybertron trilogy figures. So if you're into it, you know, go for it. I, I'm gonna pass on these. The Megatron looks all right. I like the one that I had. I recently sold it. I think Frecky bought it. Probably Frecky. And yeah, this doesn't have the straight up tank mode. Again, that. That club axe sitting on the very top right there, uh, that does irk me a little bit. I wish it was a little bit more streamlined. I wish they, they hide they could hide the weapon so they could keep the silhouette of those alt modes together. But moving on to some Rise of the Beast stuff. Oh my goodness, man. They showed off Voyager Rhinox, and this looks so sick. Oh, I'm so pumped for this. Damn it, that thing looks so awesome. I know he's got little legs right over there, but it's not really bothering me that much, man. It still looks really dope. I love the gunmetal grays. Oh, the silvers, the browns on this thing. It looks like it's going to go really well with my Cheetor figure, which, by the way, I will be reviewing. I know it's been out for a while, but I still want to review my Voyager class Cheetor figure. And they have Rhinox over here, uh, one for each of them, different modes on the table. And it looks dope. Again, the, the weapon... Um, I, I wish they, especially because it looks like there's plenty of space underneath the figure, so I wish they were able to hide the weapon underneath, you know, but uh, it looks so weird just having that stick sticking out of his back like that, you know, it ruins the silhouette, so I wish they could maintain the silhouette, it look, man, I feel like they could have stored that underneath, hopefully I can store mine underneath in the belly, unless we see it sitting on top like that in the movie, which I don't recall seeing in the trailers at all, but anyway, other than that, I think it looks badass. I'm very excited for it. So that looks very, very cool. And then uh, for the other Rise of the Beast figure reveal that I'm very excited about, they showed off Optimus Prime. Oh, this looks so dope. Now, a little saturated with the red right there, I think. A little on the bright side, but other than that, this just looks incredible. They said that they're not reusing anything else aside from the tires and the windshield from the Transformers Bumblebee movie version. So everything else is brand new. Just the tires and the windshields have been reused, they said. And uh, I think it looks dope. I'm very, very excited for this one. Damn, that looks sick. Yeah, so very pleased to have another Optimus. Can't have too many. I mean, look how good that robot mode looks. Damn. Yeah, very, very pleased with that one. He's going to have his hand cannon right there. Uh, instead of his his signature blaster rifle, I guess. And then he's going to have that sword. So that looks pretty dope. 
I don't know if it's supposed to be an Energon sword. It looks like it's just a regular silver sword right over there. All right, now I know a lot of people are upset about the Prime being a Buzzworthy exclusive. For me personally, I have not had a hard time finding those at my local targets. Like all the Buzzworthy exclusives, like the Jazz, that was one that I was worried about. I found it easily at Target. So I don't know if it's going to be hard to get a hold of or not. I assume they're going to make a lot of them and make it very accessible. But hey, we shall see. Uh, they got some IDW stuff. We got some wreckers over here. Uh, they got two packs. So this is the uh, the Rise of Tyranny two pack. They have, um, what is it? Senator Ratbat and Minor Megatron. Reused stuff over here. I know they've added some new parts, but you know it's a Siege Megatron and the 86 Scourge figure just redone over here a bit. So I, I'm honestly not too thrilled about them. Uh, they look pretty cool. You know, they don't look bad figures. It's just not for me. Uh, same thing with this uh, Humble Origins 2-pack that they have right here. I have the Orion packs and the Alpha Trion already, but these are the IDW versions where you can get Senator Shockwave and Owada uh, Clerk Orion packs, which, yeah, I, I don't doubt those books are good. I'm just not familiar with them. So for me, it's a pass on those, you know, Fair enough if you like him. You know, I, I'm not hating. And then they showed off some new stuff over here uh, just via, like, source images. Right here we have a core class Snarl. Um, can't wait to get the Voyager class Snarl from 86. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Uh, we have Bombshell right here to complete the Insecticons, which is cool. I've passed on those. I'm okay having my core class insecticons like i said I, I like this stuff i just don't pick up every single thing you know uh but i i have been tempted we have an rid figure which I, i'm not a big fan of rid so i don't know who she is but apparently she's a core character so i'm happy for people to have a character that they need for their collection good for you i'm stoked for you and then uh we have a detritus right over here who i'm not familiar with but you know it looks like it's a hound repaint and uh looks like it could be really cool so we'll see and then they showed off um is it another character i'm not really familiar with over here <laughs> is that shatter striker and then they have bludgeoned over here who i am a little bit more familiar with and uh this looks like it could be really cool right i don't know but let me know but yeah i like the last bludgeoned i think the bludgeoned i think the next one this one would be very cool too and then we got the transformers prime uh trash uh i'm sorry uh dreadwing which i would have liked to have had a while ago but like my war for cybertron trilogy, trilogy stuff i've had to let those go and yeah, I, ha I can't collect everything but i assume it's going to be really badass so i'm looking forward to that and then uh, the last tease, we have another Junkion. And I have all four Junkions at the moment. And I can't wait to get it. Uh, I, I, even though I haven't seen it, I don't care. I want it, Trash Master. And this is going to be like an original concept over here. So definitely going to pick that up. They should make a Junkion Shardimus Prime. I'm just realizing right now, Shardimus Prime would make a great Junkion. Aside from the color scheme, right? No? I don't know makes sense he turns into a sanitation vehicle you know the the sewer sanitation vehicles with pipes and the poo poo and everything but anyway um they also showed off the 30 rc which looks really good uh, i might pick this one up i get a little iffy about my non-transforming transformers but holy crap uh this looks like it could be a really good looking rc i love the transformers bumblebee movie so yeah i might pick up this rc oh my goodness Damn, that look, yeah, that looks really cool. And then, uh, yeah, that wrapped up everything, and I thought they all did a great job. I thought it was a fun stream. I watched while I was on my treadmill, getting my daily walks in, which is good. Get a little sweat. Got to get a little butt sweat at the beginning of the day, you know? Start your day with some butt sweat, and, uh, and, they'll, and that's, they'll do good for your mind. You know what they say, butt sweat is good for the brain. All right, you guys, hope you enjoyed this update video right here. I enjoyed talking about this stuff. Uh, I love my Transformers. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. What are you most excited for? I got to say I'm most excited for the Rhinox. And then right after that, the Optimus Prime. But definitely, oh God, yeah, the Optimus Prime and Rhinox are kind of a tie. But I think I'm leaning a little bit more towards the Rhinox. I don't know. We'll see. The Prime looks really good, though. Probably the Prime. Uh, let me know what you guys say. And uh, yeah, very stoked for Rise of the Beasts. And uh, please hit that like button, subscribe for more, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.
Hey, let me show some Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.